Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a spiritual successor to a Game Boy accessory from my childhood, and that's the Fujifilm Instax Mini Link Printer for Nintendo Switch. And real quick, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on everything happening with the channel. And with all that out of the way, Let's take a look. Now, first things first, the Instax Mini Link is not technically a Nintendo Switch accessory since it's been on the market since October of 2019 and labeled as a smartphone printer. So what happened with this new Nintendo Switch edition is Nintendo smartly partnered with Fujifilm around the launch of new Pokemon Snap to make a special Nintendo Switch colorway of the printer. So other than the color accents and a Nintendo themed version of the free Instax app, this printer is exactly the same as the one that's been on the market market for over a year now. There is also a bundle that includes a silicone Pikachu case, but that version sold out incredibly quickly and I'm not sure if it will ever be back in stock. But with all that said, I do think it makes perfect sense to pair this printer with new Pokemon Snap, allowing you to print physical pictures of the snaps you take in game as well as printing any other screenshots from your Nintendo Switch photo album. And actually, calling this a printer might be slightly misleading since it acts more like a Polaroid camera does, using the existing Instax mini film that takes about a minute and a half to develop after you print your photo. And if you're familiar with old Polaroids, then you should know what to expect with the photo quality of your prints. They have that slightly cool color temperature and a somewhat washed out retro look, but even with the small two by three and a half inch film size, the photos have a pretty decent clarity and a nice gloss to them. As someone who grew up with the Game Boy printer that printed on black and white thermal paper, the Instax Mini Link printer is leagues ahead of its predecessor. So taking a look at the printer itself, it's got a nice build quality and is fairly portable, something you could pretty easily slip in a pocket if you needed to. Charging the device takes around an hour and a half using the included micro USB cable and should last you through around 100 photo prints. The Instax Mini uses a Bluetooth connection for transferring photos and you may be saying to yourself, wait, the Nintendo Switch doesn't support Bluetooth. And that's where the somewhat clunky nature of transferring photos from your Nintendo Switch comes in. So instead of just printing photos directly from your Nintendo Switch photo album, you need to select the photo, click on sharing and editing, send to smartphone, scan the QR code using your phone's camera, join your Switch's Wi-Fi network from the pop-up, and then scan a second QR code, and then open the photo from inside the Instax app and send to the printer. It's an incredibly Nintendo way of going about things. Luckily, you can also just print any photo from your phone's photo library, which is a much more straightforward process and probably what I'll end up using the printer for most after I'm done with new Pokemon Snap. So the last thing we haven't talked about is price. The Instax Mini Link goes for $99.99, which for what it does is pretty reasonable, I think. But keep in mind that that price doesn't include the film, which goes for around $15 for two packs of 10 sheets. If I were a lot younger, I could imagine this being an incredibly cool toy for printing out my Pokemon snaps and bringing them to school to trade with friends or something, but $115 is a bit pricey for something that's really just kind of a gimmick and probably won't get a ton of use once the novelty wears off. It is cool to have the option of giving a physical photo to friends or family from a photo you took on your phone, but realistically, I'm not sure how often I'll actually do that. So at the end of the day, whether this will be worth it to you is really going to be a matter of personal preference the mini link works exactly as it says it does, the photos are decent quality, but it is definitely pretty clunky to use with your Nintendo Switch, and it's not the cheapest thing for something that might end up being forgotten after you finish playing new Pokemon Snap. I'll leave a link down in the description for the mini link if you'd like to check it out for yourself. Unfortunately, at the moment, it looks like it's sold out at most retailers, but hopefully there will be a restock sometime soon. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like on your way out and also consider subscribing. And until the next video, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.